But we also have this message. Hello, it's Kevin the A man. I've got one of, with me one of our childhood heroes. You can stuff Troy Smith and Scott Tracy. I've got the original one. It's Joe 90. Hello there. My name's Len Jones. I've did the voice for Joe 90. I listen to Christian O'Connell on Joey 104.90. Why? We couldn't just leave it there. You don't leave that kind of message and expect a callback because Kevin, well, sorry, <coughs> the A man. Kevin, is that the A man? A A man, yes, morning. The A A man, Kevin. Thank you. So I'm from airport. I'm under, under car at the moment, but thanks for being good. Hey, that's all right, mate. Oh, well, listen, thank you very much for getting the the message from a legend there. So, how come you know him? Uh, he works with my friend Andy Smith, uh, down near Slough. Uh, Andy mentioned to me about him. What's what? what and what's what's the mighty Len Jones doing now? He's uh, working in a warehouse. No, you don't yeah. go from being Joe Knighty, well, you say work in a warehouse, or is he just, uh, you know, like on the he, lamb, he's lying low for a while? I think he's undercover. Oh, so I uh, gotcha. We had a, a lot of chat with him, and he, we said, obviously, there's, there's no strings attached to him. Hey, uh, get it. Right? Hey, <laughs> <Yeah>. strings attached. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, you know, unfortunately, L Lender's uh, character would be responsible for, um, all poor kids who's grown up with glasses being called Joe Knighty when we were kids. I was just saying that as well, I used to yeah. do that a lot. He's got a lot to answer for. Okay, so do you want to introduce him then? We've got him yeah. up next. Who have you got for us? Yeah, we've got all our shoulders here. I was, like I said earlier on, you can get Scott Tracy and uh, Stingray and... Don't start getting angry again. We thought you were going to start oh, swearing, no. going into one on that message. No, no, no. Please would you give a big warm welcome to our childhood hero, it's Joe Ninety. <laughs> Len Jones, or as we know him, Joe Knighty. Good morning. Good How morning, ah, Len. It's Len. nice to chat to you. A proper legend on the show this morning. <laughs> I used to absolutely love Joe Knighty when I was a kid. Seriously, it's a great TV show for kids. Well, you, you must be very young then, because it was a long time ago. I, well, I'm only 30, so... Only 30? Well, yeah. you must have been very, very young when I did it. No, that's right. They, they still repeat it. I know, yeah. Do you yeah. get any of the money for that? Um, I have done, but not now. No, that's not on. And so also, because I didn't realise this, when you did the voice, uh, for Joe Ninety, Chris Smith has done some research about this. Chris, how old was he? He was, uh, well, Joe Ninety himself was nine years old, but he was the world's <laughs> most audacious <laughs> special agent. <laughs> Annoying, precocious little brat, basically, didn't <laughs> yeah, he? Yeah, And how old were you, Len, when you were doing the voice? I was sixteen. Sixteen. How did you get discovered? Um, I just went for an in interview with, uh, Jerry Anderson and Sylvia Anderson, and it just went from there. And what, what did you have to do for the audition? Just read a couple of scripts. Oh, is that it? Yeah. Now that's not too bad, is it? No, and, not too bad at all. And where did you, because that was a big show, that must have catapulted you up and you must have got lots of different offers off the back of that? Well, I was I was doing stuff before that and after, but, and during. So what other work? Chris, you've got Len CV. What else did he, is he known for? He also appeared in the Double Deckers, which was a top notch. I don't remember the Double Deckers. What series. was that, Len? Sorry? What was the Double Deckers? Double Deckers was a, uh, like a children's film. I thought it was a sexual position. Um, Easy. It could be. It could be. It's a kid's film. What happened in the Double Deckers? Uh, I can't remember. It was a long time ago. I think a bus was involved somewhere. A kid's uh, living yeah, on the bus? Possibly. Yeah. 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 And what else, Len? Oh, I did a few CFF films. Children's Film Foundation. I oh, remember those with yeah. the, the pigeons at the beginning. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. And, and uh, were you in Zed Straw Dogs? Straw Dogs? Yeah. God, that's a spooky film, that is. Oh, yeah. Put you off countryside for life. That's a great movie. Yeah, well, I, I enjoyed doing that. And, um, did you used to get a lot of groupies, you know, uh, ch chap ladies up in the bars and go, you know I am, and then um, do the voice of Joe Knighty? Yeah, yeah. Is Sometimes. It, can you still do the voice of Joe? Um, I'm doing it all the time. Except that my voice is broken now. <laughs> 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 now we've got the theme tune up, is there any way we could just try and have a little bit of Joe 90? I can't remember anything about Joe 90. Can't you? No, honestly. It's I mean, it was a long time ago. What about, uh, say someone like, there's been a malfunction with Big Rat, I must contact W.I.N. immediately. Oh, God, I remember when you used to say that, <laughs> Sunday afternoons, it was time for Joe Knight. Give that a go. Right, you ready? Yeah, go on then. There's been a slight malfunction with Big Rat, I'd better call W.I.N. immediately. I don't remember being a Cockney. <laughs> Sorry? M maybe, you know, it was young ears and haven't been fully developed, but I do not remember the Cockney Joe Knight. Maybe through the oh, technology. There's been an effing <laughs> malfunction, someone's gonna get a slap! <laughs> Hey, yeah, listen, Len. <laughs> me, if I carry on like this, I think. <laughs> Len, thank you very much for chatting to us. Thank you very much for ringing me. No, that's all right, Len. You have a good day. And you. Thank you very much. That was Big Len and Kevin the A-Man introducing him for the Bounty Hunter.